you're talking about 35 point rally from the bottom of this channel all the way into the 50 day moving average and the queues were down less than a dollar today. That's super duper bullish. And Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Happy Monday and welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend, or actually Monday update show, Freudian slip. It's Monday, talking about the weekend. Hope everybody had a good trading day today. Uh, so after last week's um, really huge, I mean, that's the best way of saying it, a uh, huge 8% move uh, in the NASDAQ, uh, the question was what was gonna happen today, right? Um, I thought, especially going into this today's session, I really believe three things were gonna happen, okay? We were either going to get rejected off the 50-day moving average and have a violent uh, implosion. Uh, we were either going to advance above the 50-day moving average, again, kind of stretching out the rally that we had from last week, or the most logical part about what was gonna to happen today was going to be uh, an inside day. And that was kind of the, the first things we kind of led off with um, you know, kind of let off with it at, at morning strategy today. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, people get so aggressive and the whole euphoria of the market that their 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 thinking gets really really clouded. Okay, and they and they believe that no matter what happened the previous week, it automatically spills over and things are going to continue to continue to continue. And like we talked about in the weekend update, things need to breathe, right? And that's not great sometimes, depending on what style of trading you are or what stocks you trade, but it's very, very healthy. And, and inside days and distribution days, whatever you wanna call them, they're very necessary, okay? They play a huge part in the organic movements of stocks. Because again, like we talked about on the weekend update, if stocks get too aggressive, too far, too fast, even the biggest bulls are gonna turn around and say, yep, yeah, yeah, that's enough, You know, I, I can't, this is way too much, this is way too extended, you don't wanna give the bears too much ammunition to have them turn around and say, see, we told you so, let's start selling stock. And that's exactly uh, what happened today. The most important part about what we saw today's day was what we saw after the Fed, right? It feels like the Fed is literally speaking. You had Powell started speaking um, towards the middle towards the middle of lunch or so. And what was great about the morning session was the market was pretty lethargic, really did nothing, but technology names continued to build. You had Tesla uh, on a big, big move. You had NVIDIA, huge moves. You saw Apple moving up, right? You saw Apple moving up. A Amazon uh, never, gave back, uh, never gave back any gains. And this was super duper bullish. And Fed, you know, Powell came out, he started talking about inflation, the same comments that basically rallied the market last Wednesday, knocked down the market uh, this, this afternoon, at least in the beginning. And if you look at the 60 minute view, here was Powell, right? But what was exceptional, which, which is very, very notable, kind of what's been going on for the last several times we've been getting any type of uh, bad news or any type of negative news, the bulls did exactly what we did last Tuesday with the Putin comments, the market swooshed it back up. Last Wednesday, when Powell speaking, they swooshed it back up and they did exactly the same thing today. You know, the Fed started talking, Powell started talking, they took down, you know, they took down the cues again, very aggressively from 352 all the way back down to 345 and look you know look look what happened at the end of the day you're talking about 35 point rally from the bottom of this channel all the way into the 50 day moving average and the queues were down less than a dollar today that's super duper bullish and when you look at a lot of the names right they they got big big moves they either consolidated today or an inside day, and now the market just needs to kind of breathe, right? Look at look at all the stocks, right? You have Amazon, you know, really, really big move into supply. It needs to go sideways. You have NVIDIA, had a huge, huge, you know, four-day move into supply. It needs to go sideways. Tesla is just an absolute monster, but look what Tesla stopped, right? Right into the supply zone here in this 343 level. Again, it needs to go sideways. And the one thing that they always remember, okay, sentiment is great with organic option flow, right? Option flow is usually 
uh, one of the biggest indicators of what potentially could happen next. And even when we saw today the Nasdaq down, you know, 150, 200, and ultimately only down uh, 50 points in the day, the one thing that we kept on seeing that we saw from continuation of last week, we saw big, deep, out of the money call buying on a lot of names with short term expiration. That's exactly what you want. That is the ultimate uh, bullish sign. Now, the question is again, how long is this distribution, right? How long is this rest? necessary okay because remember th th these stocks need to catch their breath there's a lot of names that had big big moves off the bottom but you're going to see a lot of the common denominators stuff that supply you can go through the nasdaq 100 whether it's apple amazon nvidia uh tesla they all got stuffed into supply now the tricky part for new traders are you know just because you see them these things start turning red doesn't mean they're shorts right it, it, like i like i've been saying for the first three months of kind of the, the sell bias, when you get a dead cat balance in a sell bias market, right? Stocks are going, stocks are moving up, but they're not going higher. When you have bullish distribution or rest, okay, stocks might be moving down, but they're not going lower until technical damage confirms them going lower. So the question is for the next you know day or so, how long is this going to be a rest? Right? It could be one more day. It could be two more days, but the key now for the bulls is to get their feet under them, okay? Uh, get back above the 50-day moving average and now start their bigger, aggressive, stronger push back to the 200-day moving average, which is ultimately gonna be a big, big battleground. And that's when you're really gonna know who has uh, control of the market. So you're not gonna get, quote unquote, big breakouts tomorrow. Well, at least you shouldn't if, the, if there's a little bit more rest. But the key of this type of market, you want to buy the stocks that had the big, big move, like in NVIDIA, like an Amazon, like an Apple, like a Tesla. You want to buy them into dips, okay? Because again, you're going to have light volume dips. And the key on those light volume dips to make sure there's buyers coming in in the options market that are still buying those deep out of the money short term expiration calls. And now they're buying them into weakness. So you got them into strength you got them into weakness. And the key right now to every single stock, you want to kind of buy them on the on the rising five-day support, right? The, 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 remember, the five-day support, whoever has control of the five-day support is probably going to have the control over short-term sentiment. So if you get a pullback, whether it's the Qs or it's your favorite stock, it could be NVIDIA, it could be Amazon, it could be Tesla, whatever the case may be. If you get an arrest type of scenario for the next day or so, and they pull in back into the five day moving average, and you are getting that continuation of, of short term expiration uh, call buying, those are the names you wanna buy because there's a high probability they're going to get defended off the five day moving average and start to bounce. And remember, the longer the distribution in the cycle without the market going lower, the higher probability in the next two, three days, whatever the case may be, right? If we start getting above the 50 day moving average, that should start its next leg up. Where we have to be worried, again, this is, you know, we, we don't, you know, we don't trade the markets uh, we know, with, with rose colored glasses on. Again, it's, 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 everything is determined based on the closing price. So today's closing price was great. It's just an inside day rest. But if we start losing the 20 day moving average, that's where you have to really pay attention. If you start losing the 20 day moving average on any one of your stocks or the Qs lose their 20 day moving average, obviously the narrative changes, the sentiment now changes, and this becomes nothing more than another cycle of a dead cat bounce going into supply, just the way we saw here, just the same way we saw here, and now we're seeing it here. But right now, we are gonna give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, uh, anything uh, changes on a dime in our decision-making changes on a dime with it, but based on technical analysis, not what we wanna see happen. I, I know you see a lot of people talking around and saying, well, we just had a four-day rally, uh, the bulls had their fun. Now we're going to roll over and go red. Maybe we will, maybe we, we won't. We, again, we don't know that. Nobody has a, a crystal ball. We can't uh, tell the future. But I, my game plan, I think, for the next day or so, let these stocks you know, go through distribution. If they come into rising 60-minute support, they're going to be buys. If they come into rising uh, daily support, whether it's the 20-day, the 10-day, the 5-day moving average, they're going to be buys. You want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt until the winds have changed and until these stocks start breaking and closing below their rising 
uh, daily supports. That's going to be a very, very big key. Uh, going into tomorrow, again, you know, I don't love anything. You know, again, these energy stocks look good, right? I mean, again, but you got you to play them a different way. You know, the energy name should be bought, uh, again, into rising support. Look at the names like Southern companies, right? We don't talk about Southern companies, but it's a nice looking chart. You know, look at the name, uh, look at the name, for example, like FLR, right? This is a nice looking chart, but it's not Tesla, right? It's not Amazon. It's not, you know, it's not Apple. It's not UPST. It's not, you know, it's not Roku, okay? It's FLR, right? And maybe it goes, maybe it doesn't. So if you are a beta trader tomorrow, you probably want to avoid these names, right? If you are a swing trader and, and this, this whole theme continues, then yeah, you got a nice looking chart. Uh, look at Splunk, right? Nice looking chart here as well. This is one of the names uh, that I will be watching for tomorrow. But again, it had a big, big, you know, big, big rally off the bottom. It's at the 50, it's at the 150 day moving average. It probably needs a couple more days to relax as well. But a name like an EMPH, that at least you have the same theme as the solars, energy, blah, 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 blah. This actually looks good. And if it starts confirming tomorrow, again, this is not a Tesla, but it could wake up tomorrow. Again, if all these names start following through. So tomorrow is a little bit tricky, right? A little bit tricky. Uh, if you are a beta trader, stick to the dips into rising uh, 60 minute support, or if you wanna take, you know, maybe some take uh, a little time on the sidelines, that's fine. Uh, but again, a rest is good. Maybe it doesn't affect you on a day to day, but structurally organic, it's very, very good. And it's very, very necessary for stock. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Again, here's my, you know, here's my, basically my uh, thoughts uh, before the morning. Remember, we had a monster four day run, 8% move. It's very possible they have a spike at the open and get stuffed and, and have to take off the FOMO hat. That's exactly what happened. Everything spiked at the open, you had a big Tesla spike, you had a big Nvidia spike. A lot of these names did spike and then they kind of came back in and the, and the most important part was we were prepared for it. So here's the, you know, here's the day. So um, Nvidia, huge breakout on Friday, uh, stopped at the 266 supply. And today, like I said, it's a 266, needs a strong base for a 271 push on Nvidia. Here was Nvidia, it took out the 266 and went right to uh, 271. So it again, needs a couple more days to relax or a break, uh, excuse me, or a slow volume lethargic move back into the rising 16 minute support for a little bit of uh, distribution. Uh, Tesla continues to be a monster, 923 rejected twice pre-market. If it builds, can see 932 and a possible move uh, to 943. I mean, look at, look at Tesla. Here's exactly uh, where it stopped. So here is the whole here was the whole break and it stopped right at 943, 942.85 is the high. And again, it needs a couple of days break. Would like to see a little bit of weakness to get it into uh, rising 60 minute support. I believe that was it for as far as natural pivots. Uh, Airbnb never got this, CRM never got there, Crowd never got there. Uh, Tesla, big, big move, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So I, I think the key uh, I think the key is the word patience now. Let these stocks breathe. Let them relax. Um, if you are trading other sectors, if you do your homework, you will see some pretty good you know, potential setups for tomorrow, ENPHs of the world, floors of the world, uh, and things of that nature. But if you are trading technology, just remember, patience will uh, definitely play a big part in your career. But more important, patience uh, plays a big part in distribution and the next potential move in that direction. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Happy Monday. And I will see you all tomorrow.